Hi, I'm Susan. Today's workout is going to be a total body at home workout using a stability ball, which is great for core activation. Now there's a few things you need to know about the stability ball. They come in different sizes and the sizes are in centimeters. So we're going to start off if you're about 5'1 to 5'5, five, 5'1 five, five feet one to 5 feet 5 inches tall, you might want that 55 centimeter ball. The next size is 65 centimeters and generally if you're 5'6 five, six to 6'2, six, 5'6 six, to 6'2 inches tall, then you might want the 65 centimeter ball. And if you're really tall, We've got the 75 centimeter ball for you. Now, a couple of things about the balls. They range in prices. You can get a ball I've seen online for $10.49, all the way up to $29.99, maybe even $39.99. The balls generally come with their own foot pump, so you can pump them up and then just measure the diameter of the ball. So shop around to see which one is, is gonna work best for you. So our workouts today will consist, I'm going to use the, uh, the 65 centimeter ball here. So if you want to get some arm workout, it's a great warm up for you too, is just by swinging the ball side to side. Now the ball is probably about two and a half pounds, okay? This is a good warm up and it's a great way to tone up those arms. Just a couple of things you could do. Adding some cardio, working out, swinging side to side. Maybe you wanna tap it down and reach tall. Tap down, reach tall. After a couple of minutes of using the stability ball with the arms, you're gonna feel some love in those arms. Trust me on that one. So we're moving on and I'm gonna start off with the basic squat. I'm putting the ball against the wall. I'm leaning into the ball. My low back is into the ball. My legs are a little bit forward. They're hip width apart. I'm gonna keep my chest up. Now, a lot of people like to do a squat and they go like bending forward. If you do that with the ball, you're gonna drop the ball, okay? So you don't wanna be bending forward, you want to push all the weight into those heels and bend those knees 90 degrees. My knees are just above my ankles, push through the heels and stand up tall. Keep those knees behind your toes. You'll feel it in your glutes. Keep that belly button in and say you want to do 12 to 15 repetitions. You're pushing through those heels as you stand up. All stuff for your glutes, legs, hamstrings, great exercise for you. Now another exercise and this is a great way to teach the lunge because again when some of us do a lunge, I'll see a lot of this, okay, leaning forward. Once again, if you're leaning forward, you're gonna drop the ball. The ball's in the small of your back. You're gonna have one leg in front, bring that other leg behind you. Now make sure you keep that back heel lifted. Make sure you are stabilized, pulling that belly button in. Shoulders are back. Now, bend, keep that front knee just above the ankle, pushing through that heel to stand up nice and tall. Standing up nice and tall, abs are in. My knee is just above my ankle. I've got that 90 degrees. This is a great way to ensure a proper lunge. And it works those legs too. All right, we're moving on. We're gonna continue with the legs. I'm gonna grab a mat here. And we're gonna work on those hamstrings. 
hamstrings, and butt. I'm coming down. Now, if you have a mat, you want to have your butt close to the ball. Okay, I'm going to show you three different options here. Easy, a little bit harder, and very hard. So, first option here, those hands are down. You want to keep that low back into your mat. My heels are on the ball. Just go ahead, extend the ball out, and roll the ball in. You want to keep that low back into the mat. This is your first option. Make sure you can feel it in those hamstrings, okay? Your second option, a little bit more challenging, you're gonna lift those hips into a bridge, squeezing the butt, activating the butt cheeks, extend those legs, pull it in, lower, but don't lower the butt all the way down. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Of course, if you have those hands up, it makes it a little bit more challenging. Those abs are in. Using the stability ball recruits more core work, so you're being more effective with your workout. Now, the third option I'm telling you about is you're gonna lift one leg up. Lower, lift, extend, and roll it in. Lower, lift, extend. Make sure you keep those hips level, I'm losing my ball here, extend, okay, lower, lift, extend, and roll it in, lower, don't touch the floor, extend, roll it in, lower, lift, extend, roll it in. That's your third and most challenging option, and boy, that's going to light up those hamstrings. Moving on. I'm going to move this off to the side. We're going to talk about some push-ups. Push-ups are a great exercise. It's a full upper body exercise. There's several ways you can do it. I'm going to show you your options. So go ahead. You're going to drape yourself over the ball. Then walk your hands forward. Now. This is your first option, your easiest option. The more leg or hips are on the ball, the easier it will be. So you're just gonna bend those elbows and push up, okay? Keep the core in. That's your easiest option. Your second option, once again, abs in walk those hands out the further you are on the legs the more challenging it will be so pull that belly button in bend those elbows and push up and of course just those toes on the ball really recruits the core down and up down and up good now the thing is I want you to be mindful of here is you want to do at least 10 to 12 uh, repetitions of these exercises and then you'll do hopefully two rounds and I'd like you to do three rounds. We're not done though. We're moving on to our back extensions. Now I'll show you just quickly here. My abs are on the ball. <clears throat> Now, if your floor is slippery like this one is, I'll give you another option. First option, make sure those abs are in. You can keep your hands on the ball, pull the belly button in, and lift the upper body. Try not to use those hands to lift the upper body, okay? I want it to come from the lower back. You're squeezing the butt cheeks, lifting. This is your easy option. Your next option would be to bring those hands to your forehead. Pull the belly button in, lift and lower. Lift and lower. My feet are sliding. And then the most challenging option here, those biceps are close to the ears, lower and lift. 
lower, squeeze the butt, keep that belly button in, exhale as you lift. Let me just show you what it looks like against the wall. Feet against the wall, abs in, squeezing your butt. Again, 12 repetitions, two sets or three sets. And moving on are, of course, everybody thinks the stability ball is just for the abs. Well, yes, you're right. As you can see, you can do more um, exercises that will utilize the abs, but it's more than just for the abs, as I just demonstrated. So here, I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, and I'm gonna walk my feet out so my lower back is snug and kind of cradled right into the curvature of the ball. I want you to bring your hands to your, well, first of all, we'll start easy. Crisscrossing those hands over your chest, pull the belly button in, lift and lower. Abs are in, get those shoulders up off the ball. Option one. Option two, to the temples. A lot of people like to go here. You can go here, but I don't want you to pull on your neck, okay? Don't pull on your neck. Your third option, lengthen the levers, creates more uh, work for you. Lifting and lowering. Your basic crunch on the ball. Here we are, nice job. Again, 12 to 15 repetitions, two sets, three sets, whatever works for you or whatever you have time for. Now, we're gonna work on those obliques here. Again, I'm having my hands at my temple. I'm gonna lift and bring my shoulder, my left shoulder toward my right leg and bring it back down. Now, I like to stay on one side first so maybe we'll just do 12 repetitions here, left shoulder to right leg, and then you do the right shoulder toward the left leg, okay? And you're squeezing these ribs and hip bones together. And then if you want to, up, rotate, center, down. Up, rotate, center, down, okay? So any of those options will work for you and your, my core is lit up right now. I can really feel all the work in my abs. So I wanna thank you for joining me today and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can always check out any multiple other videos that I've produced for you on LWCA Fitness on YouTube, okay? Subscribe to the channel and I'd really love to hear your comments so feel free to comment and share the video with your friends. I look forward to seeing you next time.